Okay, so today we're gonna do a tour of another one of my project vehicles. This is my 2001 Ford E350. Let's give you a quick walk around. I don't, I don't know if you'd call it a shuttle bus or people mover, whatever you wanna call it. I call it a bus or a van, but it's 2001. It's got the 5.4 liter V8, got the 4R100 transmission, and then got a Dana 80 in the back. That's a dually. Um, it's not a limited slip. And believe it or not, that combination, even though it's a pretty small engine, actually makes for a pretty good towing rig. Um, so a lot of times I tow that trailer with it just because it kind of matches. <laughs> so let's get inside and I'll show you more about it. Okay, so I had to fabricate these stairs one day because the originals were rotted out. Just put some diamond plate down. And coming inside here, one cool thing, this used to be a nursing home bus, so just kind of left all the little signs and stuff that say like strap your wheelchair in or you know, let seniors sit front. And along with that, it's also got like the switch panel for the wheelchair lift that used to be in it, so that's pretty handy for being able to wire accessories to. Um, down here, one addition I made, there were no cup holders to begin with, so I had this old cup holder out of a Winnebago conversion van from a long time ago. My grandpa and I had refinished it back when I was in high school. I really liked this thing. I just thought it was cool. It has like the wooden coin holders and stuff. And it kind of goes with the theme of the van or the bus. Okay. Um, driver's seats actually super comfortable. The rest of these seats are a little different, but they're okay. And I left these in here just so my family's got a space to ride that has seat belts in it just for legality reasons. Lots of windows, which is really awesome when you're traveling because you can see. Okay, so over here, just got like a workspace slash kitchen area. Usually I put the camp stove up on top there when we're cooking something. And down here, this middle shelf, by the way, I used to have a microwave there. And if we go camping, I'll put it there, but it's kind of annoying when you're just daily driving, it rattles around a lot, so. Down here, I've got the camp stove and the propane tanks for it. Some plastic ware paper towels, just basics, and I'd load this more up if we were actually going camping today, but like I said, when you I daily drive this a lot and it gets kind of annoying when all the crap's bouncing around, rattling, whatever. So I've got my little heater right there, got that for free, and that's usually all you need to heat this thing, unless it's really cold out. And then I just got like a toe strap and my kids earmuffs and some other random stuff. So, and then over here, got one of those portable AC units and that's just the exhaust tube for it right there um, this thing works pretty good I think it's the 8000 BTU so I can run it off my generator doesn't seem to have too many issues with it and it will cool it down here if it's a hundred or more outside it takes it a while to get cold but uh, if it's under a hundred it works really well and then this box on the floor right here this is just like an auxiliary heater core so if the vehicles running and warmed up it's got a blower motor down there and you can use this to just get more heat pumping through here other than just the dash vents okay so bunk beds I made them myself and I tried to make it just to maximize the space I know that looks a little tight up there but I'm not a very big guy so um, also this is deeper the bottom of the bed is at the very bottom of this and I made this ledge here so that if you're sleeping up here and you're dr like and somebody's driving and I slam on the brakes, hopefully I'll hit this ledge instead of flying off. And I can't remember the exact dimensions. It's been a couple years since I built this, but um, yeah, it's actually really comfortable. And I've just got like the a. I've got a pretty thick sleeping bag here, but then underneath that, oh, there's one of my kids' toys. Uh, underneath that, I've got this memory foam and. If you're my size, it works well. Um, I'm sure if you're bigger, it'd be uncomfortable. But so down here, same basic principle. I tried to just make it fit in the space and get the most out of it as I could. Um, also on this bottom one, I made it so where I can lift this up. And I got quite a bit of storage area back there. Also got my batteries, and I'll get more eventually. But right now, I just got a two uh, two deep cells for the battery bank. And keep some jumper cables under there. Also, that is where the water tank's gonna go if I get that ambitious. So and then I just keep some folding chairs right there. Very good thing to have when you're camping. Because you don't want to spend all your time in the camper. 
and then these side doors here this is where the wheelchair lift used to be it's really nice having those doors there because you got direct access to the batteries everything underneath there um, and I used to have this set up where I just had the top bunk and then it was just basically a loft bed and I would pull my motorcycle up inside here and I've I've hauled it that way a couple times the only gripe I had about that was even though the bus isn't super tall it's high enough that it makes the ramp angle pretty steep and it gets a little weird if you're trying to load it by yourself or unload it by yourself so okay that's pretty well it for the inside um, just walk around the outside real quick oh and if you're wondering on the AC unit there I've just got some foam things made up so on that hose there when I run it I just run it out this window here and I've got some foam pieces that take up the gaps and keep it all tight so you can even drive with it in there going down the road and it doesn't rattle out but okay so let's walk around outside real quick okay so not a whole lot of mods the outside engine everything's completely stock um, I did get this light bar for free one day so put it on there I believe it's a 52 or 54 inch I can't remember um, it's awesome it's really bright and it looks pretty decent on the front of there one future mod we're definitely doing on this is putting a winch in the front because there have been a couple times off-road that would have been really handy so and that's to me that's the most fun place to camp anyways I don't like to drive just to a camp and can't you know an RV camp and camp out because then you're just still around people that was the whole point of getting away but okay so uh, there's a shot of this side run around back here There's those rear doors. Okay, so over here, the original bumper that came on this was like, I don't know, 30 gauge metal or something. I mean, it was stupidly thin. And it actually, the fasteners on it rusted through the bumper and it was coming off. So I just made this one out of a six inch channel. And I thought it came out really good. I mean, for the amount of effort I put into it, I thought it turned out really well. So, um, and then I just got a little, universal hitch on there. I don't tow heavy with this thing, just, you know, my trailers are not huge, the ones I have right now anyways. If something changes, I'll upgrade that, but yeah, I like the bumper a lot. It's worked. Um, there's been a couple times stuff has hit it or I've backed into something and it's held up. Okay, so the trailer, it's a 1958, if you can believe it, and it says Easy Haul up here. On the title, it actually says U-Haul. So, I'm assuming they were maybe the same thing at some point. I don't know, maybe you can tell me. But uh, either way, we've always referred, it's been in a family for a while, we've always referred to it as just a U-Haul trailer. It's old, it's been around the country, it's freaking awesome, I love this thing. And it's actually, it sat out in our field for about 12 years at one point, and I brought it out and hasn't had to have a whole lot done to it to make it roadworthy again. Only things I really have upgraded on it recently, put some different tires on it, did some LED taillights and um, I had to replace this left wall over here and then the floor. So let's take a look inside here. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's my bike. Um, so floor, yeah, and the this trailer is kind of weird dimensions. Well, it's not that weird for a trailer, but it's five by eight. So the sheets of plywood, you can't get four by eight sheets of plywood that'll fit in here. Otherwise you'd have to put like joints in there. And the way it's constructed just doesn't work out because the thing that's holding it all together is these metal pieces at the corners. So I actually had to buy five by eight plywood and had to order it in. And it was a little bit more expensive, but I don't know. I guess it was worth it because it's one piece construction then. This wall was in pretty good shape, so is the front. It needs a little work, but gets the job done. It's pretty tight. Um, someday I'll paint the whole ceiling. <laughs> Anyways, I like this. Um, yeah, it works great. I've towed it several times. Down here, I've got that uh, Pitbull trailer restraint system shown in the toolbox tour. That's how it works. It just hooks into the axle on the motorcycle. And then this base plate down here just bolts to the trailer and I've actually got a piece of 
diamond plate on the bottom side sandwiching the wood that way it's just a little bigger surface area than just four bolts and then the diamond plates welded to the frame too i just don't want it going anywhere so yeah it just pulls in and these lock down put the pins in you're good and i'm anal so up here at the front i've got the harbor freight the nice harbor freight wheel chalk which is nice if you're towing a bike that doesn't have this capability of the one you know the pit bull system i've got back here so we went to almost minnesota uh last year pick up my friend's motorcycle and we just used only the front one up here and strapped it down in the back so got some little tie downs that welded onto those bars there okay so that's it I think the level of quality is about the same on both of them. I actually kind of think it looks cool going down the road. Just, a lot of people think it looks like a piece of crap, but mechanically it works great. So thank you for watching.